On the peninsula, the driver who died when his car flew off Devil's Slide has been identified as a San Francisco resident. Uh, this stretch of Highway 1 in Pacifica is known to be very dangerous. Quad Force Gail Ong reports on the latest fatal crash and what's being done to make the highway safe. The car is still at the beach and crews are working to recover the vehicle. Investigators say once they do, it could lead to more clues in this fatal crash. The California Highway Patrol is investigating what caused the driver of this car to steer off to the opposite lane, then off a cliff Wednesday afternoon. The San Mateo County Coroner's Office has identified the driver killed as 73-year-old Anthony Colonies Jr. CHP says he was heading north on Highway 1 towards the Tom Lantos Tunnel before ultimately landing on the beach near Devil's Slide. Mechanical defects with the vehicle um, could also play a role in uh, an event like this. Uh, we have not even been able to recover this vehicle yet, so we haven't had a chance to inspect it and take a look to see if that possibly was a factor in this specific collision. This curvy section of Highway 1 heading towards Half Moon Bay is known to be dangerous. In recent years, there were at least three fatal crashes. In August 2020, this car went off a cliff just south of Devil's Slide. The driver later died at the hospital. In November 2020, a motorcyclist died after riding over a cliff near the same area. In December 2019, video shows an SUV going over a cliff near Grey Whale Cove State Beach, where a woman died. All these crashes are under investigation. Officer Mark Andrews with CHP San Francisco says issues on any roadway can be caused by distracted driving and speeding. Looking at the cell phone or looking down towards your radio or heater controls, anything that takes your eyes away from the roadway for even a moment. When people are traveling too fast and they don't adjust their speeds uh, for the curvatures of the roadway, uh, then it can um, be very severe consequences. In Wednesday's incident, the man was alone in the vehicle. Investigators are waiting for the autopsy that may determine what caused the crash. In December 2020, Caltrans installed temporary concrete barriers and enhanced curve warning signs. A permanent project is scheduled for the year 2024. Reporting in Pacifica, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.